People all over Houston reeling tonight from the sudden death of Houston Council member Larry Green. But as his family, friends and colleagues mourn, we're getting a look at the incredible mark he is leaving behind. Adam Bennett is live at City Hall tonight, which is lit up in Green's honor. Adam. Yeah, Lynn and Mia, this is someone who his constituents said always made himself visible in the community, always fought to give more opportunities to more people and always worked to improve the neighborhoods. Everybody was just kind of like in a daze, you know. At the Southwest Houston Senior Center, he helped bring to life. I was like, what's wrong? And she was like, Larry died. Devastating news. You just hate this, you know, such a good guy, man. Like, so young. About the man who, to people here, was more than just a council member. These people loved him. It wasn't like, like, he didn't even have to ask, do I have your vote? And in memory and last roll call, Former Councilman Green. The news broke just before this afternoon's city council meeting. The devastation easy to see as colleagues. We all know he respected and loved his community. And a former classmate. We have all lost uh, a Houston treasure. All praised Green's work ethic and dedication to his district. He was an individual that was going to stand up uh, and speak up. Green's advocacy helped the city land a $9.3 million grant today for new technology to alert drivers to high water at 40 flood prone intersections. Proof, colleagues say, that even though Councilmember Green's chair may sit empty, he's still fighting for the everyday people in his district. Most proud of how it, you actually had a voice. And the medical examiner has still not determined a cause of death, though HPD says foul play is not suspected. Green is survived by his brother, Len.